Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at ISC 2015 in Frankfurt, Germany at the SGI booth, and I'm here with the CTO, Dr. Englund Go. How are you doing today, sir? Great to see you, Rich. Well, it's great. You know, we haven't talked for like six months, but I thought, you know, why don't we catch up? What's been going on? I, I know you've had a lot of meetings with customers. What are you hearing out there about high-performance computing? A few areas. Um, the, the first area would be the changes coming. The changes coming in um, processor technology, you know, uh, accelerators self-hosting themselves. Um, uh, changes in memory technology, the increase in hierarchy and how programmers will have to uh, manage that, right? And changes in interconnect technology, integration. So these changes uh, are all just about coming together around the same time. So I think this will be a different uh, from the other changes that is constantly going on in industry, mainly because of the culmination of these changes together. But, but at the same time, you know, you, you've done some things with the SGI UV, getting in the SAP HANA, right? But, but HBC is still at the core of your business, isn't it? Absolutely. That's the bulk of our revenue. Uh, and uh, the, it's just that uh, with the application and customer needs, you start to see uh, HPC customers more and more concerned about their data. But not that they weren't before, it's just that now, uh, because of the industry uh, talk of uh, big data and investment in big data, that now there is a, a forum uh, to discuss those topics, right? Where in the past it was uh, thought of as uh, something just part of HPC, uh, now uh, there is also another group, uh, say for example in the enterprise world, that do talk about big data on its own. So there's not cross-leveraging between the two sides. Yeah? Well, I've been around a long time in this industry, and I just happen to know that SGI is one of the biggest vendors of storage. You've got a large footprint out there, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, our largest licensed uh, storage site is the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. That's a 100 petabyte license. Yeah. I was told uh, the raw data rate from those uh, radio telescopes they're going to install, thousands of them uh, put in one square kilometer, that's why it's called the Square Kilometer Array. Uh, they generate uh, raw at about an exabyte a day, right? An exabyte a day. Now uh, that's a crazy amount of data. Yeah. Um, but by the time they switch the, all the telescopes on, you know, uh, technology would have moved forward to try and uh, meet those demands at that time. Uh, it, it, it is likely that they won't rec record or store all of that raw data. They'll do processing, uh, but still it is a substantial amount. Um, our second largest uh, would be NASA which is uh, of the order of 60 petabytes uh, of data. So you can't afford to keep all this on, on one place, on spinning disk. So you have to have a hierarchical storage management system for that. Well, it sounds like uh, continuing challenges for SGI, and that's uh, you're the, just the people to do it, aren't you? Yes, well, uh, the, when, especially now when uh, with the three big changes coming. Yes. Right, so opportunity. And then uh, next, uh, with the fact that uh, the uh, HPC industry themselves are realizing that data is important, and we've been, been building the ICE-X, ICE-XA system for HPC and the UV system for data, right? So, so the, the, the trends are moving in a way we've been investing in. So I think this is the exciting moment. And also uh, now with our relationship on the UV side with SAP HANA, right, together with HPC, you'll strengthen SGI substantially.